Thank you very much, Acting Speaker. I'm very proud to represent an electorate that has many people with Indian background, whether they were born in India, uh, have had parents from India, or still have family back in India. And it's very sad and struggling for many families in my community at the moment when they hear of the devastation that we see across India with more than 300,000 cases of COVID on a daily basis for 13 days straight, or over 3,000 people dying. And speaking to some of the communities, whether they be Sikh, Gujarati, Hindu, it doesn't matter their religion, their faith, they are all Indian and standing together. And I want to remind them that as a community that we'll always be with them, we will always make sure we'll do, do what we can do to help them out, whether that's just assisting them or being with them uh, for prayers at their local chapels or temples, uh, also to be there to have a discussion with them about some of the issues that they face with families still back over in India or some of their family back here. Tragically, I've spoken to a few of our members in the community who have lost loved ones over in India and the impact on them for not being able to return to their homeland to see off people and loved ones that they have cared about, obviously for a long period of time, or been working on to get them over to Australia is heartbreaking and a tragic consequences of what's happening with COVID throughout the world. But I wanted to send the message to the people from India and also the people in my community who have families still in India that as a local representative, I will always stand with you.